what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? Warbot stay up in this mood. I got my second assault squad built up, ready for painting. So I'm gonna take you through one by one, show you what I did with each of them. All right, so here's my first model, the sergeant. He's got a bolt pistol and a power weapon. His helmet got hit in the side with a round, so he whipped it off. I'm planning on doing some bruising effects or maybe some a little bit of blood splatter on the side of his head to reflect that. His banner is blowing. I got it blowing in in a direction like it's it's blowing back from from underneath. The wind is coming from the bottom. You can see that. This bolt pistol is from the Death Company. It has an X right over there, so I had to cover it with a purity seal off of the Space Marine frame. Also added a purity seal there on the armor in the same direction as the back banner. And the backpack is standard Space Marine. I used the Blood Angels Death Company shoulder pad for the left shoulder pad for the Blood Angel symbol, and I'm going to do a a transfer for the blood drop on the right one. I also added some grenades and a little bit of some kit ammo packs on his belt off of the tactical marine frame. And this, uh, the head is actually from the Dark Angels frame. The, um, what's it called? Dark Angels conversion frame. And I thought it looked good so I put it on him. Okay, we'll see you at the next one. Here's an assault marine checking a grenade, running over some barbed wire on a piece of cork. Also got a death company shoulder pad for him. And the bolt the bolt pistol is in a holster and his chainsword is I think a standard assault marine chainsword. I'm running out of bits. I think I had barely enough to make this squad, so I don't think I can do any more after this assault squad. And every every website I look on that sells bits are usually out of the chainsword and the bolt pistol, it's too bad. So here's another guy, love this this shoulder pad from the Death Company frame because it's got this little gold chalice pendant hanging off of it. Beaky helmet, used a tabard from one of the, I think it was the Space Marine Sergeant frame. Oh, looks like I gotta take care of that mold line. A Little bit of flash there. There's him. I love those old style beaky helmets. Those really rock. Okay, here's a very action oriented guy. I think I got this off of the Blood Angels Death Company frame too. It's got the blood drop on it. It's just some grenades and a hand weapon. Death Company bolt pistol. And chainsword because it's got the little parchment motif on it. Blood drop pendants. Yep, so there's him. And here's the guy with the Infernus pistol, I believe. Yep. Death Company shoulder pad. Looks like he's running over this piece of rubble. And... Cool helmet. There's his chainsword. I think for this guy, now that I think about it, I took an extra Acadian sergeant's chainsword. It has this Aquila on it. And I chopped off... I think the hand was supposed to be holding a plasma pistol. And I was so sad, but I was like, it's the only one where the left hand is at, an, at the correct angle to do it. And here's the last guy. He's got some barbed wire on the base. Ooh. And he's holding an Auspex. Which, if you don't know, is like a little motion detector, handheld motion detector. So that's going to be fun to paint up. Some Death Company 
backpacks and shoulder pads. Oh yeah, this Death Company backpack has a huge X across, so I had to glue some purity seals to it to, to cover up the X. Like I said in my other videos, or for, for anybody who knows the fluff, if you see an X on the Blood Angels, that means they are in the Death Company, which is a bunch of people who have gone insane with bloodlust and battle rage because of the, the flaw in their, their genetics. So it makes them go crazy and think that they're fighting a battle from 10,000 years ago, so they have to be put in their own little unit and sent towards the enemy as fast as possible. But I just love the backpack. Look, it's got these blood drop pendants on it, this chalice at the top. Really, really nice. It's just it had that X on it that if anybody saw it would be like, hey man, that's a Death Company backpack. You're painting it all wrong. I also use the Death Company torso, which you can see has a lot of great detail on it. It's got those crossed bones and the, um, the little blood drop symbol on it. So this guy's gonna be fun to paint. All right, so this is just a little update video to show you what I've been doing. My real life has just gotten so busy and hectic, so I'm not finding a lot of time to model and paint. But I'll try to get these guys done, hopefully by the weekend, and show them to you. If not, then by next week, definitely for sure, I'll have enough time. Hope you guys like this little Blood Angels update, and we'll see you in the next one.